What's going on? It's Christopher from Mobile Chaos. I uh, want to do an update. I installed a SSD in my MacBook Pro. I have a mid-2010 uh, 13-inch MacBook Pro, the 2.4 gig uh, processor in it. And I installed a OWC data doubler and a 120 gig SSD in it. And I just want to show how fast it is now that I moved the whole OS over to the SSD. Um, and now my main or my hard drive that came with the MacBook Pro is now just a extra 256 uh, hard drive that was that's now just installed. Um, I'm, I'm gonna use it as my data type hard drive, and the SSD is now runs the whole OS and all the uh, applications, all that kind of stuff like that. I'm gonna go ahead and restart it and show you how well it works, how fast it is now. Let's see from the time I click restart. You see it actually turned off about 20 seconds later. Now it's restarting. I can hear it in the other room. It restarted. And it should be coming on right now it's on. Roughly uh, anywhere from 10 to 15 seconds from the time it actually started to reboot. It actually did reboot. Uh, it's pretty fast. Before it take uh, probably 30 to 45 seconds to reboot. Now it does in somewhere between 10 and 15. Um, I can say it was a worthwhile upgrade. Um, imaging the new uh, hard drive didn't work as fast as I didn't work as easy as I wanted it to because it kept on telling me there wasn't enough space on the 120 gig SSD for the hard drive image. But uh, I was able to install um, OS X on it. Uh, w without a problem and then once I started OS X it asked me if I want to transfer data from another computer or another hard drive or another Mac computer and that's what I did and that's how I was able to copy my OS over or all my settings and files and stuff like that over so now I have all my the, uh, the core OS on the SSD I have all the applications on SSD and I'll use the uh, 256 install the hard, hard drive is just for uh, just for data for storing folders and stuff like that Alright, like I say, it's Christopher from Mobile Chaos. Thanks for watching.